try to understand what is electrical insulation. Generally, fine ceramics, also known as advanced ceramics, are insulating materials that do not conduct electricity. A few examples of products that utilize the insulation property of fine ceramics, which includes the packaging of surface mounted electronic components such as quartz crystal oscillators and surface acoustic wave filters. These products are widely used in mobile phones, automotive navigation systems and portable music players. Ceramic packages provide advanced hermetic sealing and electrical insulation between electric circuit lines to maintain the highly reliability of these electronic components. So electrical insulation, a material that is unable to conduct electricity due to high level of electrical resistance is an insulator. In contrast, a conductor is a material that offers low resistance to electric conductivity. An atom, the smallest unit of matter, is composed of a nucleus and electrons which orbit that nucleus. Whether a substance is an insulator or a conductor generally depends on the number of free electrons it possesses, which can be used to carry electric current. A substance with higher insulation properties is less conductive because it possesses fewer free electrons. In addition to fine ceramics, other insulators include paraffin, rubber, plastic, paper and marble. Because ceramics are fired in a kiln, they can be fashioned into a wide variety of shapes with excellent heat resistance and durability. For these reasons, ceramics have long been used as insulators. Now let's see conductivity. Though fine ceramics are generally insulating materials that block electricity, semiconductor ceramics can be created to conduct electricity depending on their temperature and the level of voltage applied. So conductivity is a property that allows electricity to flow through a material. Fine ceramics are insulating materials in general but some varieties exhibit electrical conductivity according to changes in temperature. A thermistor is an electronic component utilizes a property in which electrical resistance decreases as temperature increases allowing electricity to flow more easily when the material gets hot. These devices are used in sensors that monitor temperature changes and in equipment designed to prevent electronics from overheating. A varistor is a similar component that possesses a property in which resistance decreases as voltage increases. Varistors are used to protect electronic circuits from excessive voltages. Now let's see electrical conductivity in metals. Electrical conductivity in metals is a result of a momentum of electrical charge particles. The atoms of metal elements are characterized by the presence of valence electrons, which are electrons in the outer shell of an atom that are free to move about. It is these free electrons that allow metals to conduct an electric current. Because valence electrons are free to move, they can travel through the lattice that form the physical structure of metal. Under the electric field, free electrons move through the metal much like, like a billiard balls knocking against each other, passing an electric charge as they move. Electrical resistivity also called specific electrical resistance or volume resistivity and its inverse Electrical conductivity is a fundamental property of a material that qualifies how strongly it resists or conducts electric current. A low resistivity indicates a material that readily allows electric current. Resistivity is commonly represented by the Greek letter Rho. The SI unit of electrical resistivity is the Ohm meter. For example, if 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter solid cube of material has a sheet contacts on both opposite faces and the resistance between these contacts is 1 ohm, then the resistivity of the material is 1 ohm meter. Electrical conductivity or specific conductance is the reciprocal of electrical resistivity. It represents a material's ability to conduct electric current. 
It is commonly signified by the Greek letter sigma. But kappa, especially in electrical engineering, and gamma are sometimes used. The SI unit of electrical conductivity is Siemens per meter. The notation used for the Siemens is capital S. Now let's try to understand the electrical conductivity in metals with the help of a diagram which is shown in figure number 3. The conductivity of a material can be related to the number of charge carriers present in the material. Let us consider a rectangular block of length capital L and cross sectional area capital A. Let small n be the concentration of the free electrons available in it. If a potential difference capital V is applied across a solid, it creates an electric field capital E in the solid is given by capital E is equal to capital V divided by capital L, where capital L is the length along which charge carriers move in the solid. Let's say this is equation number 1. The current capital I passing across an area capital A is defined as the net charge capital Q transported through the area per unit time. That is I is equal to Q upon small t. Let's say this is equation number 2. The magnitude of the current flowing through the material is governed by Ohm's law that is V is equal to I upon R. Let's say this is equation number 3. The resistance capital R is given by capital R is equal to rho into capital L upon capital A, where rho is known as resistivity. Let's say this is equation number 4. The reciprocal of resistivity is known as conductivity, that is sigma is equal to 1 upon rho, that is equal to capital L divided by capital R into capital A. Let's say this is equation number 5. Therefore, the total number of electrons in solid capital N is equal to electron concentration into volume. Hence, capital N is equal to small n into capital A into capital L. Let's say this is equation number 6. Now, total charge present in the solid that is capital Q is equal to total number of electrons multiplied by charge. Therefore, capital Q is equal to capital N into small e that is equal to small n into small e into capital A into capital L. Let's say this is equation number 7. The current through the solid can be written as I is equal to Q upon small t that is equal to N E A L divided by small t. Let's say this is equation number 8. Hence the current equation capital I is equal to N E A V subscript d. So v is nothing but the velocity and subscript d stands for drift velocity where vd is the average drift velocity of electrons. So let's say this is equation number 9. Therefore the current density is given by capital J is equal to capital I upon capital A. Let's say this is equation number 10. Hence current density capital J is equal to by simply putting the value of capital I, that is the current equation, N E A V D divided by A. So area area, that is capital A, capital A will get cancelled. Then finally we will have the current density, capital J is equal to N E V D. Let's say this is equation number 11. Now Ohm's law, V is equal to I upon R, but R is equal to rho into L upon A. Hence I is equal to V A upon rho L that is equal to 1 upon rho into V upon L into capital A. As E is equal to V upon L, hence we can write current I is equal to sigma capital E into capital A. Let's say this is equation number 12. Now current density capital J is equal to I upon A is equal to sigma into E into A upon A. Hence capital J is equal to sigma into capital E. Let's say this is equation number 13. This equation is known as point form or microscopic form of Ohm's law. From equation number 11 and equation number 13 we can write the current density capital J is equal to small n into small e into vd that is equal to sigma into capital E. Therefore, the conductivity can be written as sigma is equal to NEVD divided by capital E. 
therefore sigma is equal to n into e into mu let's say this is equation number 14 in this equation mu is equal to vd upon capital e in this equation the quantity mu is known as mobility of electrons now let's see the definition of the mobility of electrons the quantity mu is known as the mobility of electrons it indicates that the as with which electrons move in a solid it is defined as the drift velocity per unit electric field the unit of mobility is meter square by v into s in meters it is of the order of 10 raised to minus 3 meter square per vs and in semiconductor it is of the order of 10 raised to minus 1 meter square per vs